In this video I'm going to show how to connect up a sonar to an APM-2. Um, and uh, one of the important things about this is the cable that you use. So I'm going to show how to make that cable as well. So right, like I said, here's my APM-2. A little bit old, but um, whatever, still works. So uh, that's what I'll be using for the flight controller. Um, for the sonar, I have this uh, Max Botox MB-1240, which is also known as the um, XL EZ4. Uh, it has the narrowest beam, which is uh, apparently the best for multicopters. Uh, then I have this cable, maybe, I don't know, 30 centimeters of cable. Uh, this is, um, you can see it's shielded, so it has this metal part on the outside, and then inside it has three very uh, narrow wires, not that they need to be narrow or anything, um, but it has three narrow wires, a red, black, and white. So we'll use, of course, um, red for power, black for ground, and white for signal. Um, yeah, and like I said, it's shielded, which is important. Uh, what else do I have? I also have um, this uh, 100 microfarad capacitor. So this is, uh, let's see, where is that shown? Right here. 100 microfarad capacitor. Maybe you can see that. And I also have a 10 ohm resistor, which I got from SparkFun. Both these came from SparkFun. Um, also, in order to uh, you know attach the cable, uh, one end of the cable onto the APM here, I have these little these little things here which allow me to make a you know a nice a nice cable connector. This is from uh, Polulu, sorry Pololu. Okay, so apparently the way I need to connect it up is uh, this uh, shielding part, the metal part coming out of the shielded cable, and the black wire need to be connected to the uh, ground pin on this uh, on the sonar, which is the outside pin here. Uh, this, uh, the red line, which is going to be power, needs to have this 10 ohm resistor connected to it, and then the 10 ohm resistor has to go into the, into the power pin, which is the second pin. Then this capacitor 100 microfarad capacitor needs to be somehow connected um, across the uh, power and ground pins here and I believe the the white line here it's a polarized capacitor so the white uh, connects to ground so it should be something like this then the white line which we use as the signal line will be connected to pin 3 so 1, 2, we connected here the other thing I need to remember is that I'm actually going to be using this uh, 3DR um, sonar mount. Uh, so this thing somehow connects like this, pointing down of course. So all the pins are here, so I guess I'm going to want to put all of the, you know, the capacitor and the wires and stuff all on this side. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to Okay, next I'm going to attach this resistor onto the red line. It's already tinned, so it should just stick. There we go. I'm going to put this little sheath on there. There we go. Okay, I put a little uh, heat shrink tubing around the uh, shield and the ground wire and also around the uh, resistor and which is on the power wire here. So now I'm going to attach it so ground goes on the far left. It's all a bit messy but hopefully it'll work. Next I'm going to attach the power line. OK, 
Okay, it's attached. And then finally we're going to attach the signal line to number three. Should be the easiest one, hopefully. Okay. On the other end, the end which is going to attach into the APM, uh, you don't need any of this shielding. So all of this can be can be taken off. There we go. Then we need to uh, strip the ends off these little wires. There we go. Now we're going to use these little guys from Palulu. Palulu, sorry. Probably tinning the wires would have been a good idea first. So we're just trying to hope that well it seems to have gone in well. Now um, I'm going to put the red and black into one connector. There we go. And the white is going to go into his own. The reason I've done this is because uh, I want to have the flexibility to attach the power um, for the sonar from the rear power rail on the APM2. So you, you can either connect it like this with just like this, you know, black, red, and white attached here, or what you can do is you can actually power it from the, the rear servo rail. So you could attach it like this, right? Red and black there going into the back servo rail. And then you could attach just the white one into the A0. The good thing about doing this is that then the power for the sonar is not being shared with the power for the CPU. Um, so that's another option. Uh, but for the sake of uh, testing the next step, which is to test the mission planner, I'm actually going to uh, not be using an ESC or anything. So I want to power it from There we are. Next, we're going to test with the mission planner. So I'm plugging in the USB port, and you can actually hear the clicking. Yes, yeah, so you can. If you if you put it right up to your ear, you can actually hear the little ping, 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 very rapidly. So I've connected with the mission planner, and I go to initial setup, then optional hardware, then sonar, and I click the enable button. And then I have the XL Easy 4, so I leave it at the top selection. There we go. Now I'm going to test if the sonar actually works. So I go to the terminal screen, I press Connect APM. At the prompt, I type in Test, and then Sonar. And it says 20 centimeters, 20 centimeters, and I hope if I turn it, there we go. Excellent. So now, I turned it to face up towards the sky, and I'm seeing 287 centimeters pointed on my screen, you know, 30 centimeters right down, you know, at the ground, at the table, it's 20 centimeters. It'll never show less than 20 centimeters. Pointed across the room, you know, 235. That's looking pretty good.